Hi, I'm Wynn, cycling instructor, and in my video on how to convert a coaster brake into a freewheeler, I said, well, you know, keep the, reinstall the brake shoes. And so in this video, I want to show you what happens if I don't install the brake shoes. So I've got a 15 millimeter hub wrench and a 17 millimeter uh, combination wrench here, and squeezing these together, I'll remove, loosen the nut. Um, I've got a, a gauge here, and this is going to show that it's 27 millimeters uh, from the end of the axle to the lock nut. It's actually a little bit more because I unscrewed it. So let's uh, let's remove this. And I'll remove both the cone nut and the axle, the lock nut at the same time. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll back out the the uh, sprocket and slowly remove. The assembly. This is the brake shoes <laughs> and so we still have the flat washer in here followed by the spring assembly and what I'll do is I'll reinstall this back together again screw in the the hub and we can see that I can pedal forwards and uh, everything works. Let's put on the cone nut and the lock wash and the and the lock over nut. <laughs> so I hope you all got some benefit out of watching me how you transfer a new rim onto a onto the bent rim for this bike wheel. makes your life easier when you have a nice wheel rather than living one with one that's fairly bent up okay and let me lock this up so on my left hand I've got the hub wrench the right hand I've got combination wrench All right hand still works fine and the lock over nut distance is still the same at 27 inches. That has 27 millimeters, so that hasn't changed. So you can very easily not install the brake brake shoes. If you need these in the future to convert it back, you'll probably lose these, but you can take them off anyway and put them in a bag and hopefully they're around if you need them in the future. Okay, so until then, happy cycling. 